Hi everyone and welcome back. Um, I'm on a bit of a high this morning because yesterday evening I went to a VIP event at Charlotte Tilbury. Now I'm just going to reiterate I am not sponsored by Charlotte Tilbury. The only reason I'm invited to these vet events I think is because I buy so much of her stuff. So um, which is nice because I got a few freebies um, in a goodie bag and they're lovely. Um, and I also bought the new palette, so I may have to just review that and give you a 13th day. Um, and today I'm actually wearing the new palette, um, which is not what I'm going to be doing. But you will see to, that I have got the desk look on and I've also got a new lipstick that I bought, which is called Rising Star. It's one of her Hollywood lips. And the reason I wanted to get this, I've had my eye on this one is because I've got an awful lot of, of warm pinks, which are lovely, but I've got into wearing quite a bit of blue eye makeup recently. So I wanted a cooler pink, and I like this one. So, um, yeah, that's it. Um, and before I carry on, I just want to say a big hello to Sona, who did my makeup last night. She's so lovely, so enthusiastic about makeup. And I just got chatting to her for so long. I think she was late going home. So sorry about that. And also a big hello to Tamsin, who also did my makeup last time. Um, and I think that Sona has subscribed to my channel. So she hopefully will be watching this when it goes out. Um, you girls at the Charlotte Tilbury and Covent Garden, you are amazing. Um, and I love coming there. I don't get to come as often as I'd like because of my mobility difficulties. But when I get an invite to a VIP event, I do actually, I get in a cab and, you know, make a big thing of it. And it was great. Um, but the rest of the time it's online for me. And that's why I'm doing these videos is so that you can see if you're ordering online, you can see what things look like. And I also have a lot of friends that have got disabilities that can't get to your shop. So um, I'm really hoping that this is beneficial for them as well. And for anybody else that finds it difficult to get out and about, you can actually pick colours online and, and look at reviews. Um, and I'd encourage you to look at lots of reviews, not just mine, obviously. I'm no makeup artist. I'm just really enthusiastic about makeup. Right, with all that preamble out the way, um, I am today going to do the Rock Chick look. Now, apologies for yesterday when I was doing the Vintage Vamp. Um, I did actually put the, the palettes and everything in the camera view. But for some reason, when it came to um, editing it, it had chopped off the bottom. So I'm showing you things, but you can't see them. So I've learned from that. So today I'm going to make sure, apologies for that, but I'm going to make sure that the palette is high up as I'm showing you the colours. So as you can see, we have got the Prime Shade. The Enhanced Shade, the Smoke Shade, and the Pop Shade. Um, so I will um, swatch these first for you, and I'll show you the entire look. So first of all, we have, and this is really creamy, this one. Um, we have the um, Prime Shade. I went blank then. I'm always doing that. Sorry, guys. Um, which is... Um, sort of silvery grey it's very nice as I say you know uh, the prime shades you would think are all going to be about the same but they're not they're all slightly different got slightly different nuances I hope you can see that I'm sorry about the lighting in here it's not brilliant but I do try okay and then I'm very trying <laughs> um, and then we have the um, enhanced shade Again, a really buttery consistency. Um, I just really noticed that this morning with this palette more than the others. I don't know whether it's just that I've noticed it this morning or that the others aren't as buttery, but there you are. Um, so that is the Enhanced Shade. And then we have the Smoke Shade. And that one is, as you see, insanely pigmented. And very dark what is really great if you've got hooded lids like mine this is a really good palette because you can really get into the corner with this and kind of hide your hood and really make your eyes look bigger it's great um, and then we have the pop shade 
and the pop shade is beautiful again really beautiful so let me just show you the pop shade and there is the pop shade okay so now if you're watching that beautiful shade that made me buy the new palette last night was so insanely long lasting that even though I'd had a wash and a shower it was still on my arm this morning and I had to uh, really work to get it off so it does, they are really long lasting I can vouch for that if anyone's interested in the new palette and I will do a, a, a review of it at the end on a day 13 and maybe what I will do is incorporate any comments or questions that I might have had because I'm filming all of these in advance okay so those are the um, eye shades for the palette then we have and I've done it again. I've forgotten one of the parts of the look, which is the cheek to cheek. So I'll swatch that at the end and I'll come back. Okay, but then we have, I will show you, obviously we have our full fat lashes, which is with every look. And then we have the feline flick. The feline flick, I think I showed you for the bombshell in day three. Oh. Okay, I'm going to be stopping and starting today. Um... That was the postman, and I, I'd forgotten I had a parcel due to be delivered. Not makeup for once, but there you go. Anyway, let's get on. I'm jabbering away this morning. It's because I'm on a high um, about being at Charlotte Tilbury's last night. Sorry about my eye watering as well. So let's get on. So we have the feline flick, which I showed you in the bombshell on day three, I believe, which, again, is lovely... Um, black um, eye pencil but it, it's like a felt tip and it's really easy to use um, really good to get a good effect just make sure with all of these that you put the lid on properly because otherwise they're going to dry up as with any makeup um, particularly the colour chameleons they tend to if you don't put them on properly they tend to come off and then they dry up which is 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 not unsolvable because you can actually sharpen them um, and then you've got the fresh stuff underneath but you don't want to leave them like that for too long because obviously they set after a while so if you leave the lid off then they're going to set with the air why am I jabbering on I keep going off the point okay get back to the point Ali all right now the next thing is that we have the lipstick which is um nude kate now i'm gonna swatch this for you if you're a fairer skin lady this is going to look lovely on you i'm going to be perfectly honest it made me look dead um and when i come back i'm going to show you the one that she suggests as the matte revolution lipstick so if you're darker like me and this is too pale for you she suggests Glastonbury. Now, Glastonbury is a little bit too dark. But what I'm going to try and do today, and I've not done this before, and I thought of trying it out beforehand, and then I thought, no, let's do it live, um, is I'm going to mix the two together because to see what they're like when they're mixed. It must still go with the look. They've still got shades that go with the look. Let's see if it works because one for me is too dark and the other for me is too light. Um, so let's see if it goes we'll see kind of exciting and then last but not least we have well it's not last because I'm going to come back with a cheek to cheek bl blusher um, is Iconic Nude which goes perfectly with this lipstick um, and it's very similar um, in the kind of shade um, the lightness of shade to Pillow Talk but it's I would say um slightly browner um than than pillow talk so that is nude kate again very good for lining your lips if you don't want a visible line but you just want to accentuate the line of your lips and cheeked fuller lips very good one okay so that is iconic nude and i keep saying getting these these names mixed up with no, it is Nude Kate. Nude Kate, iconic nude. 
Um, and the other really light lipstick is uh, Kim Kardashian, Kim KW, which is very light. And, and um, Sona kindly showed me last night. Okay, so I'll be back with the Cheek to Chic Blusher in First Love, which goes with the look. Then I'm going to take all this makeup off and come back and show you the look. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, I'm back with the Cheek to Chic Blusher in First Love. Now, I have to say, this was the very last blusher of all of them that I got because I didn't think it was going to show up on me. But it looks absolutely beautiful, so much so that it's the one that I use almost every day. Um, it, it just looks really natural on. Now, I don't know whether this is going to show up on my arm because it's the lightest of all the cheek to cheek and we haven't had much luck this week have we in any of them showing up on my arm but I will give it a go let me try it on my hand so I can really zoom in um, it might actually just show up this one because it's light against my dark skin so this is yep the Swiss shade okay and then the pop shade, which I really love, is a peachy tone, like so. Let me just put a little bit more so that you can see that. Now, what I love about this is I've got hyperpigmentation on my cheeks. You can't see it too much because I've put concealer on this morning, but it tends to show through as kind of muddy marks. And it doesn't, you just can't cover it. It just looks muddy. Um, and what I love about this is that right on that area where you would put your blush, um, it is peach. And so what it does is it actually colour corrects it, which just does two jobs at once. Um, I'm just showing you that now. But I will show you later when, when I do the whole look. So that's all the colour swatches for the Rock Chick. Um, and I will be back in a minute with a bare face, apart from my foundation, to run through the look with you. So, see you in a minute. Okay, so let's get started, shall we? I've put my lounge around the house top on, because then I don't get it covered in makeup or anything. So, hence the makeup around the collar. I don't go out like this. All right. So, I am really chatty today, aren't I? <laughs> okay, so first of all, we are going to go in, let me show you again, with the prime shade here. Okay, and I'm going to put this all over my eye. Back and forward, as Charlotte says, like a windscreen wiper. And then I'm going to go in with the Enhanced Shade, which is here. And and I didn't tap my brush again. I'm very naughty these days. And I'm going to go back in to the other eye. And I was a bit more cautious with that one because I didn't tap my brush. So that was silly. Now as I said, what I like about this look I've actually seen a makeup review from a lady who's far better at putting makeup on than me, um, who's got hooded eyes that shows people how to do to do this look and to hide the hood. I definitely recommend, if I can find it, I'll put the link below 
that you have a look at this this review because um yeah it's really good um i'm going to put a little bit of that enhance over the lid as well just for a change make it a bit deeper okay and then i'm going to go in with the smoke shade and again i'm just going to take it in the side and up here really concentrating it on that corner to try and hide my hood and what wayne says is to take it out in a straight line like this obviously you've got to blend it but i like to do that to wing it out because it get, again gives it really helps with hooded eyes i will blend that in in a second if i do that and then in a straight line in i know that doesn't look blended at all but don't worry it will all come together shortly I'm going to go back in with my blender brush and blend that in. I quite like using my fingers as well. And blend that up. And if you go too far over, which I may have done, you can just get a um, makeup wipe at the end and clean it up and do a straight line going up from the corner of your eye up to the tip of your brow. That's basically where you want it and no further. Okay, <clears throat> now I'm going to... Now, I, yes i'm going to do this not i was going to do if it was the rock and coal i was going to put this on afterwards but it's not the rock and coal today it's the pen so i'm just going to line the lids with the smoke shade and I, I'm not going all the way in. I quite like not doing that on my eyes. Again, it's all around what suits you. And in actual fact, what you can do, I'm just going to wipe this, is I am going to go in with the prime shade and just go into this bit here and into here. And that will just widen my eyes even more it's all about kind of tricking the light into making your eyes look bigger okay now the other thing is as i did yesterday i'm sorry but i love doing this with my fingers a little bit of that prime shade on the top Okay, and now I'm going to go in with the feline flick. Now I'm a bit of a wuss with this in terms of going up on the flick because what happens is if you're a hoodie like me is you put the flick in and it, you get it looking really beautiful like that and then you close your eyes and suddenly the wing kind of droops down. So I tend to not go too far out. Um, <clears throat>
Now, if I show you what I mean, so that looks quite okay, doesn't it? I'll let go of that and then I'll look straight on and it kind of disappears and sinks down. <clears throat> so, if I did that any more, it would just sort of look like a it would look like a not a flick but a curve and up which is why I tend not to go out too far and I'd have to go out very far in order for it to be seen <clears throat> so I just go out a little bit like that okay and I'm gonna just go underneath I think they do this with the rock and coal, which you can do. She uses the bedroom black rock and coal, but that's not part of the look, so I'm just sticking with what's in the look today, and and I'm just going to take that little bit along and smudge that with my finger because I've got the other. Um, smoke shade underneath. I'm just going to link that in. And then if you want to smudge that line out, um, you can just go in and smudge it a little bit with your smudger brush. It's probably dried a lot now, but I quite like it defined. Because once you put your mascara on, it doesn't really look that harsh. Again, it's all about personal taste. So I deliberately didn't smudge it straight away. That was quite intentional. Okay, um, so now, as I say, you can put, if you really want to make this start look, you can actually put in bedroom black. You can tight line it at the top and um, put it in your waterline below. But I'm not going to do that today. <coughs> and then the mascara. I've got such a frog in my throat today. It will not go away. So now we're going to go in with this lovely pop shade, which is a silvery pop shade. As you saw earlier. There we go. And I'm just going to dab that onto my lids. Like so. And I think I might just leave it at one dab today. I do like building them up, but I want a bit more of a subtle glow than an out-and-out -out rock chick. I think it's enough anyway, and it does really reflect your eyes. Even though this light is really poor, it's quite good because it's kind of reflecting the sparkles in the um, pop shade. Okay, so next... Um, I'm going to be right back because I forgot to get Glastonbury. What is wrong with me today? Okay, I'm going to get Glastonbury and also I have what comes with the look, which is Nude Kate. And I will show you those two lipstick shades. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to start by lining my lips with Nude Kate.
I'm just filling it in a little bit more so you can see. It really is nude, so it kind of, it almost looks like the colour of my lips, but just evened out. So it's really good for cheap it, cheap cheaping, cheating the outline of your lips. Now I'm going to go in with, sorry, that was Iconic Nude. See, I get confused. This is Nude Kate. That's Iconic Nude. <clears throat> so I'm now going to go in with Nude Kate Lipstick. And you will see that this is too light for me. Um, would look really nice on somebody with paler skin, but far, far too light for me. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm sure you can see that. I don't need to convince you. Now, <clears throat> the MAC Revolution lipstick that she recommends for this look is the opposite. It is very, very dark. So let me just swatch this on my hand. It's a lovely kind of berry colour. But I thought, <clears throat> let's try and mix it. This is the first time I've tried this, folks, so it may go dreadfully wrong. But I'm going to put it over the top of Nude Kate to see what it looks like. Now, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, as you can see, that is the original. It's very nice as it is. But this just gives a bit more of a cool to tone to it. And I think it goes very well. Well, it must do because they're both shades that she recommends. So if you mix them together, it must look good. <clears throat> I like that. There you go. A discovery. And then what she puts on the top, I wonder. Hmm. I wonder what she puts on the top. Did I swatch this earlier? I don't remember swatching this. <clears throat> is Blondie. I don't think I swatched this. Blondie is lovely. This is um, a lip luster. And it's it's got lots of gold flecks in it. It's pink with some some gold flecks in it. It's very beautiful. Let's just see what it looks like, just for fun. Um, I'm not sure it's going to go over the two mixed, but we shall see. Yeah, it's okay. But I do want to wipe down that wand before I put it back in there, because otherwise it's going to contaminate that lovely colour. So I will leave that out for now. <clears throat> and then to finish off the look... We have my favourite blusher, <clears throat> which is First Love. Again, just to remind you, there is First Love. So I'm going to swish around the side. So for any of you that see this and think, that's too pale to show up on my skin, you can see that actually it does show up. On your skin and then the pop shade which I love because it kind of neutralizes my hyperpigmentation <clears throat> Okay, and that is the rock chick. Now, obviously, if you're going out and you want to really vamp this up, you'd probably go for either the paler or the darker lipstick, and you would put um, some false lashes on, and you would really accentuate your feline flick. 
and put some more mascara on. But that is the look for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Sorry about all my banter, but that's just me. I like chatting away. Um, and I hope to see you tomorrow for another one of Charlotte's 10 iconic looks. Bye.